Welcome back to Top Blast. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about where the losers of Hell's Kitchen are now. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Antonia Bregman was a line cook from Chicago, Illinois. She left in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 1 after suffering from a migraine and collapsing before being rushed to the hospital. After Hell's Kitchen, Antonia recovered and moved into selling soft furnishings and fabrics. Boris Polshuk was a catering chef from Manalapan, New Jersey. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 8 due to the inconsistency of his performance. After Hell's Kitchen, Boris became executive chef at the Loft Steakhouse in Brooklyn, New York with excellent reviews on the food. Emily Cutchins was an executive chef in a nursing home from Chicago, Illinois. She was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 5 due to her lack of effort shown so far and also her lack of passion in her food. After Hell's Kitchen, Emily returned to the kitchen before becoming director of catering at Foodstuffs. She is a food blogger at The Buttery Babe. Gail Novenario was an executive chef from Wanata, New York. She was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 12 due to her inconsistent performances that had worsened in the past three services. Gordon was disappointed in her as he felt she could have gone much further in the competition. After Hell's Kitchen, Gail worked at Rural Society in DC and is currently chef de cuisine at Constellation Culinary Group. Jillian Flathers was a sous chef from Pagosa Springs, Colorado. She was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 14 as Gordon felt that other contestants were stronger. He allowed her to keep her jacket and praised her determination and passion for cooking. After Hell's Kitchen, Jillian returned to the kitchen at Plaza Grill and briefly worked at Freddy's Steakhouse before resigning. She intended to open her own restaurant. Louis Curtis was an executive chef from Beeb, Arkansas. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 2 after he struggled on sushi, leading to the failure of the team. After Hell's Kitchen, Lewis returned to Lille before cooking at various cookery events, farm-to-table dining, and launching catering company Kingdom Catering PLC. Lisa LaFranca was corporate food director from Brooklyn, New York. She was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 1 as she was in over her head and had a terrible performance on the fish station. After Hell's Kitchen, Lisa returned to the corporate world as a food and beverage director. Louis Rapucci was a chef at Children's Camp from Diamond Bar, California. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 4 as he had performed the worst during the evening service. After Hell's Kitchen, Louis became an executive chef at Boulder Creek Brewery before moving into management. He is currently an independent consultant and training specialist at San Manuel Casino. Melissa Donny was an executive sous chef from Albany, New York. She was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 6 due to making too many simple mistakes and her declining performances. After Hell's Kitchen, Melissa returned to her previous role at Fort William Henry Resort before becoming a culinary instructor and area chef for a supermarket chain. She is currently also executive chef at Brown's Brewing Company. Raj Branson was a personal chef from Queens, New York. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 3 due to his poor performances and failure to get along with his team. After Hell's Kitchen, Raj returned to his career as a personal chef. Raj has been named the worst chef to appear on Hell's Kitchen and has somewhat of a fan club. That is all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye, everyone.